Hey guys, welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. We're going to do a really fun little thing today. I'm going to fill up these three balls. And I'm going to be using alcohol ink and three different colors. For the little bitty one, I'm going to use, it's called Valencia, but it's orange. And these are, are from Ranger. I'm using Amazing today. Um, it's a thicker resin, so I probably should have used a little bit thinner one. Alright, we're going to really saturate that because I want some color in here. I want them to be able to be vibrant. And the yellow, which is, actually this is Dijon. I need yellow. I'm sorry. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Got my yellow. They look about the same, but this is called dandelion. Fancy name for yellow. And we're going to do some pretty good squirts in there. And this is called Crimson Red. <laughs> you know they have to give them fancy names, so we'll just go with that. Okay. Now let's get these mixed up. And I'm using these little tiny cups because they have a little spout, and the holes are very little in there. And I am not worried about bubbles. As a matter of fact, I think bubbles will just enhance what I'm trying to do with these. And we will get into that once these are cured. Are you curious yet? All right, good, you're supposed to be. All right, let's see how this is going to work. It's going to have to be slow, I know that, or I'm going to make a big mess. Because this thing is tiny. I'm wondering how I'm going to demold this thing. So we're just pouring slow so it doesn't go all over the outside. Just like that. Okay. And I don't want these domed. Because I'll have more sanding to do. I don't want that lip on there. Alright, let's give this one a mix. And this yellow usually stains my molds, but it just stains the mold. It, the next time you pour, that won't be on there. It's just kind of, these are brand new molds, so I hate to stain them, but it's inevitable with this. If you like the yellow, which I do. Okay, now this guy, equally small, so again, pour slowly. And I got these uh, from Timu. A set of seven was $9.98. And they're all different sizes, up to a pretty good size, huge five inch one. My spheres were getting old, and I've been using them quite a bit. I hope I'm in frame there. Okay. Looks like we're going to have just enough for this one. If I scrape. Oh, come on, come on. You can do it. I'm sorry. This is taking long to fill.
Let me see if I can scrape some. Really don't want to have to mix more up for this just little tiny bit here. There it goes. This is really a delicate operation here, guys. Because these holes are so little. And this is a thicker resin. I should have used my Dr. Crafty. It's a little thinner. giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm stubborn on this one. And you can do it. Just a couple more drops is all I need. I actually think that'll do. All right, so there's that one. And now, the red. That orange looks like uh, red, doesn't it? Give it a good mix. This one's a little easier, has a bigger hole. And I am going to have to mix more up for this one. That's okay, I have leftover resin. Alright. Let me just pour some more in here. Some more color. mix. It's like a blood red. That's a really nice red. Ooh, this is getting nice and warm, so that's good. It'll pop some bubbles. Plus the alcohol ink sometimes helps pop bubbles, but like I said, I don't care about the bubbles in these. Don't care one little bit, and you'll see why. And uh, I will be picking a winner for the giveaway tomorrow, and I will announce it on this video. 
these won't be cured until probably very late tonight. So the video won't come out. Um, probably until Sunday night. See if I can get it done by then. Alright, we need a little bit more. I'm not going to make you all wait like I did on the middle one there. Which does need some more in there too. So, look, making a mess. I'm just going to top it with some of this. Because it just really just needs like two drops. There. And that is all we needed in there. I'm making a mess. All right. A little more red. But they call this the Learning Channel. That way you know what to expect if you do this. And I, I do recommend these little spheres. Yeah, this is getting really thick, so I'm going to have to hurry up. And there we go. I said we do not want to dome. So... There you have it. We're going to let these cure. I'm going to clean my huge mess up. Because I can't stand it. But look, orange, red, and yellow. Alright, guys. Stay tuned for the winner. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Huh. I don't know what to say about these things. Uh, I'm sitting here just kind of taking a breather. I demolded them, and you will thank me for doing this off camera. There were many bad words said. Um, this one was not bad. Not horrid. These two... I chased them around my studio for a half an hour. And like I said, many bad words. <clears throat> it was horrid. Okay, but what I did to get them out was I did loosen the top. And then I did this and I sprayed alcohol and then I loosened them and I squeezed from the bottom like I was giving birth to these things and they shot out <laughs> and they went everywhere. But that was the easiest way to get them out. So if you do this, make sure you have a spotter ready to catch that baby because that's, that's what it seemed like to me. Like I was squeezing out a baby. Um, only I did not have a spotter. It was just me. So I had to chase them all over the place. Anyway, I'm going to take a rest for a minute, <clears throat> mix up some resin, and I'll be back with you guys. I should have filmed it. It was pretty funny. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I mixed up some resin, and I did pour about that much in there. <clears throat> and I decided to make <laughs> punish myself and make two more colors. Okay? But I'm going to start with these three. And I'm going to start with the big one first. And I'm going to put the bottom up because it's not real pretty. So we're just going to squeeze that in there. And then we're going to manipulate it to where the bottom is up. There we go. But I did want to put some resin in there first. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And now we're going to go with this one. Look how pretty that is. Do you see what I'm saying about the bubbles? I like them in there. All right, so we're just going to 
looks like that. Like that. Turn this again. I want to make sure that the ugly side is facing up. Okay, now for the baby, we're going to just mop him. Because this is the bottom, so we want the uglies to face up. And I'm going to make a few more, like I said, just to fill this up. Um... Bigger than I thought it was. Maybe I was using a different one. Could be. But this is a medium sized one. So, going to be a little bit longer than usual. But so far, there you have it. You see? And I'm going to let that cure. Let these guys cure. And I'm probably going to pour one more here because I do have a lot of resin left. <clears throat> All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I decided to do the big one too. Because um, I did make a lot of resin. The rest of it I will pour in there. I just don't want to cover those balls because I'm going to add these balls too. So I'm going to add some more of this and this is called flamingo it's supposed to be pink it's looking really peach colored right now but okay i hope you guys are enjoying this video because it's going to be a very long time before i do these again <laughs> they have been um Somewhat of a challenge, but I think it's really going to be neat when it's finished. Uh, we'll see. I'd like to do the very artsy, um, out of the box type of stuff. If you haven't noticed, I think you have noticed. Uh, and, I, you know, I do do normal stuff. You know, everyday stuff as well. But uh, these are my favorites because... If I can dream them up, they're they're usually pretty darn cool. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna pour just a tad more in here, but I do not want to cover them. Okay, so we got lots of leftover resin. What can I do? Here we go. I've started another giveaway. This one's a little smaller. But it's cute. And it's a sphere. <laughs> uh, we're going to just pour that in there. So I'm not wasting resin. Resin's expensive. Oh, this is going to be funky colors as well, guys. More funky colors. Yay. Um, and before I forget, I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway. Give me just a second. Okay. So, here was the original giveaway, and I, you know, I think it's really pretty, and that is your choice on this one, or you can have your choice on the Pretty in Pink jam jar, and the winner is Bobby Roberts, yay, Bobby Roberts! Bobby Roberts 6788. 
uh, Bobby, get back to me. I'll leave my email uh, in the descriptions. You just hit the more button and it should take you to uh, my email. Leave me your address and I will try to get this out to you in the next few days. Um, got a lot going on, but I will get it out to you as soon as possible. Tell me your choice, pretty in pink or bizarre sphere. And congratulations. Thank you so much for being one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I'm going to get started on our next giveaway. It won't be this little tiny thing. It'll be this and maybe something else. But um, just to show my appreciation, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to pouring my art out. It is time to demold these and I decided to show you how to do this because it really is kind of hard. Um, you see how little that little tiny hole is? So we're going to start with this guy. I'm going to loosen the top around. I'm going to try to squirt some alcohol in there. Move it all around. And you can see where it has loosened. Okay. <laughs> this just cracks me up doing this. Okay, come on now. Let's see what I can do without shooting it across the room again. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. Ta-da! Okay, we got one. Wipe that excess alcohol off. <coughs> this one's hard, but not as hard. I'm loosening it up. I'm going to spray a little in it. I have already mixed up my resin for the uh, sphere. Okay, let's see if I can do this without shooting it across the room. Yeah, these two went everywhere. I had to find them. They went under the chairs. It was terrible. Okay, out. And this one's not hard. I may or may not be able to use this one. I was kind of testing it while they were still in the molds to see if all three would fit. And I'm not sure that all three will fit. But we will see. I'm going to do a dry run real quick first. Aren't those pretty colors, though? Okay. So I'm going to dry run this first to see if it will fit. Make it slippery so it'll go in easier. And it looks like it will fit right there. Or maybe over there. There. Well, slippery suckers. Okay. Nope. Do it that way. Okay, yay, I'm glad that's gonna work. Now let's see if I can get these guys in. Also. And I think it's gonna work, guys. Have to just move this one over a little. There we go. And the little guy. Okay, I'm going to spray some alcohol in there, put my gloves on, and we're going to pour. Okay, that's a little misshapen, so I'm not happy with that. There. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's get this poured. It's been sitting about oh, 10, 15 minutes. Not a lot of bubbles. There's some micro bubbles. But again, that's okay. Need that to sit just right so it doesn't misshape that. Okay. Well, here we go. And I did not pour a layer because there's already a layer of clear, so I'm not worried about it touching the bottom. I just want to make sure it gets down the side. Can you see what I'm doing there? Making sure that it's getting behind that one. And again, I've made too much resin. All right, I can't fit any more in there. Give it a spray. You can already see a few bubbles coming up. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. I think that's going to be very cute. Different piece of art. All right. So we're going to let this cure. I'm going to pour this clear in here because I made way too much. I didn't expect to be able to get that big ball in there though. I'll make something out of that. We will see. All right, guys. I think it's looking really cool. Once it's out, it's going to be very cool, I hope. So, don't forget, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in just a few seconds. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. And guess what time it is? Completely cured. I'm excited to see this. Um, I can see a distinct line. Well, not distinct, but I can see one. But uh, I'm excited anyway. So let's just get this on the, on the move here. See how hard this one is to demold. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need some alcohol. Just to loosen up that seal. Good grief, I hope this doesn't go shooting across the room because it would hurt something. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to hold this against my body to do this. Sorry about it. Okay. It's coming out. There. Well, that's kind of cool. What do you guys think? Wipe off that excess alcohol. What do you guys think? I think it's neat. Can you see all the different color balls? Not a tremendous amount of bubbles. I'm not crazy about that line, but still, that's pretty cool. Now, had I done the other layer before the bottom layer was completely cured, you would hardly see that. But I had to wait on the ones that I decided to do to um, cure. So therefore the bottom cured too. But anyway, I think it's cool. And depending on which way you turn it, it looks like I have um, like alcohol ink in there or something too, but I don't. It's just a reflection of the color of the balls. 
Well, there we have it, guys. And again, congratulations, Bobby Roberts. I will uh, link my email. And unfortunately, guys, uh, the giveaways are only for U.S. Um, because I simply because I can't afford the shipping um, for overseas. But I do have a few overseas subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching my channel. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to continue to do giveaways just to say thank you to everyone. But, yeah, there you have it. I'm going to do something a little more normal. Um next time i'm going to attempt a beach scene in that same uh rectangle mold i did and uh, make a light out of it and see what happens because i know everyone loves those beach scenes and i do too i think they're beautiful okay there you go guys i'm going to give you some um pictures afterwards i'm going to light it up so that you can see the inside and stuff <clears throat> probably see a ton of bubbles but like I said, I don't hate the bubbles. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Make sure you like. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And Bobby will be talking to you soon.